Hi. Today I want to focus on making a game a little bit. When we when we're talking about a game, we're actually thinking about a problem and we would need tools to solve that problem and strategies or a single strategy to solve that problem I hear I have them problem tool and strategy this is actually making a game in blender uh, let's go well, up here the box default uh, click and go to game logic and here on the right side to blender game uh, we, we we have this editor and we would uh, start creating our game here we would we would first need to create uh, the problem the problem element of the game so I'll put my cursor here and uh, add a globe a U or a UV sphere here. There is actually a story here, a conflict, or like I said, a problem. And we here have enemies attacking us, and we would need to defend. That is the bottom line of uh, the story that we're here using to create our game. This globe, and I would go down here to add sensor down here, and always the sensor is for this close always that that would indicate that whatever it does whatever the globe does uh, whatever the globe does would continue for would continue as long as um, the game is being played and here on the right side to actuator and select motion I would give values to this, uh, the location, uh, minus 10, and here um, on the y-axis, uh, I would put 20, or well, we can change them anytime we would need to do so, and create the logic or the connection between these two the way they are supposed to be controlled uh, so if i press start lock uh, again uh, start you can see the trajectory of uh, the globe Okay, now, now let's go to the cube here. And I want to use it as a tool which would help uh, fight uh, this, the enemy. This plays the role of uh, an element that is attacking. And this, the uh, cube, is going to be uh, weaponry or something uh, 
a, a tool, like a tool that would help, uh, that would be helpful in fighting uh, the this element, the uh, antagonistic element. So I will select this. Uh, again, I have a sensor and actuator. Uh, sensor. And why well, it is a tool and I want to use it. I want to use my hand. I want to use the tool actually. And so I select keyboard. And here I have the keyboard. This box. This box here. Uh, I would put my cursor and uh, select space bar at least for uh, on my computer uh, I put space bar and to the right side and add actuator uh, I will select edit object and here uh, I would I would make changes later, but at least at this moment it is uh, editing object and uh, add add object here. I, I have options here, uh, all of these replace mesh and others, and uh, I select add object and connect these two. Okay, they are connected. Now we'll go to this layer, one of these layers, and well, back to the main layer, and I have, I have the cube. I put my cur cursor here and click. Okay, I, I want to make whatever a, a wall in uh, this location. Okay, just in the center of the cube. And so the second layer, and it's empty at this moment, and add a sphere. Okay, and I have uh, sensors and actuators. I select, I press sensor. And would uh, use keyboard. Okay, this is going to be the same as the the one on the in the main layer. And this press spacebar. So this is going to be the same. Uh, also actuator and motion okay. I would here give it some values uh, 10 and here 20 I can change them anytime I would need to do so and connect so this is going to be controlled by uh, controlled by this one. I mean, the, the these two are connected. I'm the sensor and the actu act actu actuator. Uh, okay, if I go back to uh, the main layer and press start and press the keyboard, well, it's not working. I have to give a, lo a, lo a greater value actually I mean this 40 and also back to the main layer and here I would have to select something here press on this cube this little cube and sphere this was, I think, Sapphire uh, 001. Yeah. 
and now if you start yes you know shooting okay so I have the gun here the uh, tool and here the enemy the problem and uh, these two main components of my game are ready now uh, okay I would, I would add uh, more variations and uh, like more uh, spheres or elements that are participating in the attack uh, but before doing that uh, I would need to add something uh, first of all we'll need a uh, kind of stretch this a little bit and go to physics here physics what well, you, you you have selected the uh, cube here but go to the sphere this and select and go to physics and here you have uh, static here this box and select rigid body okay now back to the main layer and select this time this sphere this one and give it the same value rigid body okay now if you start the game or well here the uh, rendered mode if you start the game uh, well at this moment uh, it, it would be the same uh, let's yeah kind of uh, yeah you see all these uh, globes uh, we will take care of them uh, shortly uh, let's close these windows so this sphere and the other one are uh, rigid bodies in terms of physics and now I will go to uh, the sphere in the second layer select it and if you close these windows I mean it would be more convenient or easier to do other actions so and add and select collision here okay then here I would, I would go to steering here okay and here we have seek and uh, the other options uh, flee and path following and others and um, I, would, I would select path following this would mean that uh, the gun the bullet uh, is going to follow the path of the uh, enemy element and here this yellow cube uh, and I would I will select this is sphere one and I will select sphere okay yeah let's close this well, I want you to see it one one once again okay uh, and I forgot the connection line the way in which they are connected or the way in which they're going to when I mean, they're related to each other the, the sensor and the actuator so it produces pulses and then uh, the pulses are being actuated here uh, by this uh, component 
I did a collision for this uh, uh, bullet or this uh, sphere. Now let's go to the main layer and select sphere. Okay, and I will do the same here uh, with respect to the collision. So add collision and here uh, steering selecting path following and for this well the target uh, well this is going the this sphere this element is going to follow uh, the element here okay uh, this is the meaning of this steering thing uh, and um, I have to also determine the target and the target is here look um, I click on the cube and I select sphere 1 well, you need to make sure that you understand each element and the way they are related or the, the way they are going to be related to each other uh, and let's close these windows too uh, so I here have m motion for the for uh, this for this uh, and also uh, steering and I would need uh, to return to the second layer to the bullet and uh, uh, and check whether something whether everything is done finely yeah I have uh, the keyboard and collision now let me go to this one the, the uh, globe and uh, here actuator also again edit object here edit object and uh, the options here include end object so in, in the game this is going to be ended this is going to be uh, fought off or this is going to be destroyed and here the collision that means upon collision when the bullet is collided or hitting the uh, this globe uh, is going to uh, be destroyed I mean to disappear or ended using the terminology of uh, the game here and I would connect the collision to this one yes uh, let's start the simulator uh, well yeah this is the problem still and I can I can solve it very easily so I would go to uh, this box and uh, select and increase the speed here uh, I would increase it to that should be that should be okay uh, back and start yes yeah yeah uh, let me change the position of the gun I think the gun here or somewhere and this one here okay also okay when starting the simulator it's like this and uh, 
the second layer and uh, let's increase this to 20 uh, to make sure that uh, when moving I mean the motion is in the uh, is in the right direction or it's just bending toward the right side of uh, this uh, window let's see if uh, it happens yeah maybe we need to add a little bit uh, yes almost uh, I can I can do some rotation here uh, select and let's see if it works uh, start yes yes it does work uh, when you start the game Look, it's just uh, you can you can shoot at uh, the object uh, playing the role of the enemy and uh, uh, and if uh, a bullet hits collides with this globe it will disappear like it would get destroyed uh, I think I think everything is done and uh, we wouldn't need to do uh, additional things let's just make sure I have I have made this uh, earlier and using uh, color and uh, material and uh, just uh, trying to uh, give it uh, the conditions uh, of uh, a game, a, a real game, game, and uh, I will I will use that uh, to show how it works. And uh, okay, so uh, just I want to make sure that uh, everything is done. So as as far as uh, the bullet is concerned, uh, I have the keyboard, the collision and uh, uh, well if you if you look at uh, the values uh, here uh, you could experiment with them i mean changing them so if you if you if you give it a negative value it would go to the left side uh, just uh, imagine how the uh, uh, x axis or y or z axis are and you here have all of them so you can make changes uh, and here you can you you also have options and uh, well here uh, let me draw it a little bit to the left and here look uh, flee seek and other options uh, also. Also, you need to remember that you have to uh, you have to make that change in physics. They have to be rigid bodies, uh, else uh, they, they they wouldn't uh, they wouldn't collide uh, properly. I mean, in terms of making a game in Blender, or uh, it would not. Uh, the the game would not be working because you have not chosen the correct physics yeah uh, yes uh, let me select OK, 
okay this is this is the uh, game uh, I made uh, look here I have uh, this sapphire and this uh, element to again an enemy or a weapon uh, a tool of the enemy uh, a Taurus and here the gun and you have all of them here uh, also I gave them color so if you start if you start look it just uh, get shoot and one thing one thing I forgot uh, I forgot talking about uh, is that uh, I use a sensor for this uh, that it can uh, roll around kind of look around that is the terminology and it's an easy thing to do so look I have selected the cube the gun and if you go down here okay look at this uh, mouse so I went to sensor and selected mouse here okay so it is already selected and then uh, the uh, actuators here well uh, and I selected m mouse again look at the, what is what did it, this is the mouse here and uh, uh, okay and also uh, I would I would I would click this which would which means uh, that pulses uh, are going to be used or it, it would be uh, sensitive to pulses so see when I start the uh, simulator uh, look it's it's just look at that look at the uh, gun uh, as though it's looking around well I'm not a gamer myself and I do not have the uh, uh, skill of uh, using I mean also it is a uh, touchpad and I think it's not probably as easy as uh, uh, a, a mouse or a joystick whatever uh, so I think I think you see what I'm talking about um, well I might not be able to hit them but let's let's try so if I start and uh, uh, boy the high failed let's, let's try it again uh, start yes you see <laughs> and the other one too uh, let's try one more time uh, mm. I think I, w I would need to uh, use uh, my both hands and uh, just roll it a little bit uh, or make it bend toward uh, this so uh, you could imagine that um, the enemy has been attacking and, and uh, using this very uh, dangerous uh, weapon and also this one and uh, uh, we are defending that that is that is the story i mean the problem the tool and this mouse uh, element here or the looking uh, that it can look around this is a part of uh, the uh, uh, strategy that we will use uh, we are using actually and so uh, one more time start yes and okay well I can I can just do this whatever in all direction you see it just can shoot in all direction and if you are a skillful gamer uh, or if you try uh, you can uh, become a very fast 
a gamer actually, a very fast uh, player. Uh, thank you very much. One additional thing is that, uh, well, once the problem is solved, uh, supposing uh, both objects are destroyed, uh, we could set up a second phase or a second stage a more complicated or more difficult stage and then a third and uh, so on it just it just can go on and on depending on your design and uh, uh, the way uh, you would imagine uh, your uh, problems I mean the problems for the games are um, also we can add counters like using property uh, and or counting the hits giving uh, a grade or something but at least uh, the scope of this uh, video uh, does not allow for uh, discussing that subject uh, I will, I will discuss it in another video. Thank you very much again. Goodbye.